Okay, I think we'll get started now. So um, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our 13th edition of Albumworks Presents, which is part of our ongoing webinar series. My name is Naomi, and I'm a member of our customer service team here in Melbourne. Hopefully you've been finding the last couple of webinars helpful for choosing what type of product you want to create. Today, I thought I'd go back to giving you some more editing tips when designing your albums. So as usual, as usual, we want this to be an interactive session. So please feel free to ask questions along the way. I'll make time at the end to answer your questions. To ask a question, you should see the webinar control panel on the right hand side of your screen. If you're on a computer, you can type your questions into this dialog box and send it. If you're tuning in on a phone or tablet, you should see a question mark at the top right of the screen, uh, which you can press to type a question. So today I'm working with the downloadable editor on a Windows computer. The Mac version of the editor is the same, so Mac users will be able to follow along. The webinar should run for about 20 minutes and today's topic is creating the perfect wedding album. Don't worry if you don't specifically have a wedding album to make. I'll be giving you some pointers that will apply for other celebrations as well, such as birthdays or anniversaries, and just general tips on using the editor. So it's helpful whatever your, whatever sort of book you're making. Um, and it, I did look at travel photo books a little while ago, so it's a similar process to that. Um, what I'm gonna look at is deciding how to categorize your photos, choosing your theme and product type, adding your photos to the album, and then enhancing your page to get the best results. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing is that you need to decide how to categorize your photos. So with a wedding, I personally think the easiest way to do that is in chronological order. Um, it's, it's pretty much a perfect setup to just go through the day, um, you know, starting with the pre-wedding, perhaps at the bride's house and then the pre-wedding at the groom's house or vice versa, the ceremony, and then going on to the photo shoot and the reception. Obviously, these are just uh, examples. You can do it any way you want, but, but this seems like a logical way to do it. So we'd recommend putting your photos into folders for each part of the book. And that's going to help you when you're actually going through and creating the book. I've done this at my end. So I'm on a Windows computer here. I've put all my photos in a folder called Wedding. And inside that folder, I've created five separate folders for exactly those topics that I've just mentioned. Um, I pop the photos that are relevant, relevant to each section into the correct folder. That way I can work on the album bit by bit um, and it's just much easier to do. Okay, <clears throat> so next is choosing the theme and the product that you want to create. So I'm going to open up the editor here. This is the downloadable editor. I don't need this anymore. And we're going to click start a new project. With, uh, with a wedding book, so we do have the option of classic photo books, which are your regular coffee table book with perfect binding. Um, we also have lay flat books over here. And the difference is with lay flat books, <clears throat> they do lay completely flat. So you can have photos going across a double page spread. Great if you have got photos that you want to, to take over the whole page. Uh, the only thing to remember is with lay flat books, you do only have the option of standard definition printing. And while it is good, uh, especially for lay flats that have a thicker paper, it is, um, if, if you want the absolute best print quality, then HD is the way to go. Uh, and HD is only av available for classic books. So for now, I'm gonna start a classic photo book. Here we get to choose the theme. You can choose any theme you like. It's only um, relevant, the theme gives you some different page styles to choose from. And so it makes your job easier but you can create your pages your own on, on your own if you prefer. I'm gonna choose the elegant wedding theme, which is our only wedding theme. Uh, so I'll double click on that. And then the next page, I get to choose my size and cover type. A lot of wedding books, people like to do 16 by 12 inch books if you've got beautiful high resolution photos or 12 by 12. 
Um, I'm going to do 11 by 8.5 because the photos I have are a little bit low quality. Uh, and then you can choose your cover type. So you can have a photo cover and that's where you put your own pictures and text on the cover how you like it. Great if you've got a, an amazing high quality photo of the wedding or celebration that you want to use. If you prefer a more classic or traditional cover then you can choose a premium material cover and I'll talk a bit more about that later on. I'm going to choose a landscape photo cover and I'm going to add photos. So at the moment uh, I'll add from my picture, uh, sorry it's, I've got to remember where I put them, webinar photos, wedding and I only have photos of the photo shoot at the moment. I've just grabbed a few sample photos. <clears throat> so I'll select that and I'll click next. And we'll give the project a name and create. So in a minute, it's gonna open up the book. Uh, if you can afford it, definitely uh, it's a good idea to upgrade to high definition because that will bring out a lot more color in your photos, it, it'll be much better reproduction and um, more definition as well in your photos. So um, highly recommended. Just waiting for the book to open. All right. So it, the first thing it asks me is, do I want to upgrade? I'm going to say yes. And it's just going to change it to a, an HD book. The only real difference is the spine is slightly different. Um, a little bit thicker to hold the thicker pages. All right, so the next thing we want to do is add some photos to the book. So there's different ways to do it. Um, you can, you can, if, if like we've got a theme here, so you can see all these pages have got templates on them already, page styles on them. Um, so all we have to do really is drag and drop photos onto these pages. If we want to start from scratch because we don't necessarily want what's there, we can do that as well. So I'll just show you for the cover, for example. So I'm going to start with, <clears throat> excuse me, a photo that is going to look nice on the whole cover and a nice photo of the bride and groom. Um, I could do this photo. Um, not uh, Maybe it's a little bit too close. I think a nice one with, with some background will, will look better. So I'm going to swap it with this one. We'll just drag that on. That looks nice. Um, it does say our wedding here, uh, which is one of the templates that we have. If you don't like that, you can remove it. Just click on, this is, there's two boxes. This one is the text. I can just delete, click, press delete on your keyboard and highlight the background and just press delete and it's gone. Uh, I actually would like this to take up a full page because I think that'd look nice on the cover. So just drag your blue dots all the way up to the blue line on the edge of the page and all the way down to the blue line, the bottom of the page and on the right it all looks fine. Um, it's, it's taken all the way to the front. I might actually take it over the spine as well. Uh, it's gone a bit far, that's fine. Um, and I'm just going to crop it because it's, um, we're missing some of the picture there. Hang on. Uh, and I'm just going to move that into the center. So it's nicely centered. And I think that looks great. Um, given that I removed the text that I put on before, I might just want to put some basic text on here. So we can just add a text box and we'll just pop it here and we'll just say our wedding. And we can change the size by dragging our mouse over it to highlight it and on the right hand side choose a nice big font say 48 and just make that onto um, one line and we might just pop that up the top there. Um, so that's nice simple cover really easy. Um, you could put a couple of small photos on the back cover. Oops sorry. Um, perhaps these these ones here might look nice just on the back cover like that. So I think that looks quite smart. <clears throat> but again, it, it's all what, what you find, um, what you prefer. Let's go to page one. So again, page one, I now have um, a template already on the page. 
if that's not what I want on page one, I can change it. Uh, so I'll give you an example of just putting a few photos together on the page. Say, let's just say I've got, I might use this template here. Down the, so I'm just dragging it onto the page. And we're going to go to a different wedding now. This is another wedding. And I've just got a few. So again, when you've got a portrait box, so this box on the right is portrait shape. So I want to put a portrait photo on there. That will mean that it won't be trimmed or won't be cropped, I should say. Um, and then on the left hand side, I'm going to put that, uh, I'll put that one in the small box, uh, put that one in the other small box and a photo of the bride and groom in the big box. Okay, they're going to be cropped because I've put a portrait photo on a landscape frame, uh, box. So I'm just going to crop it a little bit so that we can see the bride and groom. This is just an example of how you can put a page together um, and you'll have a lot more photos to choose from than I currently do. Um, I can keep this background. Um, this, so this is where we can start choosing. Um, so we're adding our photos. Now we can start adding backgrounds and frames um, and scrapbook items to make the page nice. Personally, I think that background is a little bit intrusive. So to remove it, I just right click on the page and choose remove background. I can add a different background to the page if I like. So we've got under the backgrounds tab at the bottom, um, there's plenty to choose from. The ones that are quite nice, there are some elegant ones um, that you might like. This one here could work well. Um, it's kind of simple and still shows your photos, but uh, it's quite pretty. So the, And the browns work quite well with the brown door. Um, another one that's quite nice for wedding photos is this one with the leaves, but with the grey background. Um, there's also one with white with the sort of goldy leaves. <clears throat> so there's a few elegant ones in there that you can choose from. This one I think is also, no not that one, sorry. I quite like this one if you just want a nice plain stripy background. Um, also in our patterned area you might find some more that you liked. This one which is quite simple, it's a nice nice little spots there. So there's lots of options you can choose from and, and there's a few examples and just want to work with the colours in the photos if you can. Um, so that, that page looks quite nice. You can add frames to your photos and sometimes when you add a frame you may you may find if you've got a background and frame it may be a bit too much. So I'm going to just remove this background for now and let's look at some frames that we can add. So in frames uh, there are wedding ones uh, you can choose from. So that for example, it's a bit big, I'm not so keen on that. If you don't like that one just drag a different frame on there and see what you think, that's quite nice. Um, the other area where there's some quite nice ones is under the love theme. There's, I think this is a really, really simple one but sweet. So you could just use that and it just puts a nice little frame around each picture. Um, I'll just have a look. I think there were, or well, even that one's kind of cute. It's a bit, maybe it's a bit babyish, but <laughs> uh, there's plenty of them to choose from in here. Again, keep it simple things that are just, you just want to make sure your, your photos are being highlighted rather than your, your extras, they're just there to enhance your photos. Um, okay, so I'm going to start another page and this time I just want to put one photo of the bride and groom on. So let's choose a different page style and we'll just go, we'll click on one picture box because we just want one and uh, okay, let's use this one. Actually, that's a bit smaller than I was hoping it to be. Um, that's all right, we can adjust it. So I'm going to remove love because I don't want that on there. I'll just delete those two things. I'm going to add a photo to the page. Let's go back to our original wedding couple. And here's a really nice photo of the two of them. I'd like to make it a bit bigger on the page. So let's make it bigger here. And again, I don't think this background works for this particular wedding because there, there seems to be more browns in the background and I don't think the grey works so well. So I'm going to remove the background. I thought I might add some scrapbook items this time just to show you. So here are our scrapbook items. 
the best area to go to is celebration. <clears throat> there's lots of options here. There's a bow. Um, towards the end, there's some really nice uh, gold uh, I, um, scrapbook items. And the one I quite like is this one. So we're just going to pop that in the corner. And it's a little bit big, so we'll just make it smaller and just pop that on the corner there. And I think that looks quite nice. You can rotate it a bit if we want, just by using this green button here to rotate it. Um, and then in the bottom corner, we might put some wedding, wedding rings. And again, it's a little bit big, so I'm just gonna make it smaller and just put it in the corner. So you can do things like that, just to enhance the page. Um, and you'll see if you go through the page styles that we have on there, we have done that and you can stick with what we've done. So this page, for example, you've got the wedding rings there. This page, <coughs> we've put that heart in there. Um, and then this page, we've got the bow or that heart again. So there's lots of different ways to enhance it. Or if you like that gold lettering, you can use that again. Um, there's quite a few options there. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do. Um, and again, the best thing is to keep your book simple, as I've said. You just want to show off your photos, not so much all the, the highlighting. And I was going to talk to you about the page, the covers. So you, if you do want a material cover, it looks something like this. This is a red faux leather cover. So you've got a choice of faux leather or buckram. Buckram is like a linen and there's a range of colours to choose from. You can also have hot stamping, which is this lettering on the page, and you can have either gold, silver or blind lettering. And those options for the colours of the cover, um, they come in the shopping cart. Another thing you may want with a wedding album is to have a presentation box or a slip case. So on the left hand side you can see the presentation box which opens up and you pop your, your album sits in there. There's a little ribbon to be able to pull it out easily. On the right you've got your slip case which your book slips into the side of that case. If you have, um, if you just choose to have a premium material cover and either of these accessories, you can have hot stamping on both. So whatever hot stamping you have on the album will also appear on the slipcase or the presentation box. That's a nice little add-on if you want for a wedding album. All right, um, so that's pretty much all we have time for today. Um, if you have any questions, if you can send them through now and I'll go through them in a minute once I've just done a quick recap. So just to go through what we talked about, the so first thing to do is work out how you want to categorise your photos, decide on your theme, your product type and your cover type, add your photos to the album or a page at a time and then use your backgrounds, masks, frames and scrapbook items to enhance your photos on the page. Uh, you can then add a slipcase or a presentation box once you're in the shopping cart. All right, I'm just going to check if we have any questions. So if you don't mind bearing with me for one moment. Okay, so one <clears throat> question we have here is, are HD pages thicker than SD? Yes, they are. They are a 250 GSM paper, so they're quite quite a heavy paper. Um, whereas SD, the, the standard silk is 150 GSM, so it is a bit thicker. Um, there is actually a webinar where I talk about HD. So if you want to go, if you go to our YouTube channel, the Album Works YouTube channel, you'll be able to see all the webinars there, and you can have a look at that. Um, happy happy to discuss that with you. Um, someone else has asked. Hang on one sec. Ah, uh, yeah, whether, okay, someone's doing a lay flat book already on our editor and wants to be able to change it to HD. Unfortunately, no, you can't. Once you've chosen a lay flat book, you can't swap it to a classic book. And that's because the pages have different specifications. A lay flat book, the pages, page numbers start on the left hand side, page one. 
whereas the classic book page one starts on the right so sorry no you would have to start again um, someone else has asked if there's a minimum number of pages and the answer to that is it depends on the book so with lay flat books the minimum is 40 pages with classic books the larger sizes which are 11 by 8.5 inch or larger there is a minimum of 30 pages small if they're smaller than that either 8 by 8 inch or smaller then you can go down to 20 pages um, and someone has asked how do you fade a photo to make a background well I can show you that um, we'll go back to the editor oops sorry ah, okay um, so let's just put a photo okay we'll um, yeah we'll put a photo on this page doesn't really matter <laughs> let's just choose this one and I'm going to make it take up the whole page so I'm going to say fit <coughs> fit to page and so now it takes up the whole page um, actually I'm just going to remove that I don't know if I can hang on I'm just going to remove the background first in that case that interferes and just go fit fit to page so now it's taking up the whole page um, you can fade that by clicking on this pencil and paper button at the top of the blue column on the right and you can change the opacity so when I change the opacity it fades it you'll see that happening now um, so you can do that with photos you can do that with backgrounds as well so say you've got a really bright background on there you can also click on that background and change the opacity of that hopefully that answers that question um, I think I have one more question let me just have a look oh, sorry <laughs> uh, where is it just bear with me one moment okay someone's just asked about the online editor versus the download editor um, look they're very similar that yes the download editor does have a few more functions um, and we do recommend using that for more complicated books um, I do do believe it says that on our website um, both are very similar though so there shouldn't be a lot of issues it, yeah if you have got a more complicated book use the download editor if you can all right um, that's all the questions we have for today so just um, before we go I'm going to give you our, my usual speech in case you need to contact us um, you can do so by phone um, our customer service team is always happy to answer your queries and we're here from Monday to Friday 9 a.m. until 5 30 p.m. Melbourne time our phone number is 1300 553 448 you can also reach us by email at service at albumworks.com.au or you can talk to us via live chat from our website and you can head to our website at www.albumworks.com.au to view our current best books at the best prices promotion so you can get between 33 and 40 percent off your books it's business as usual with our production team we're still here making your photo products and maybe a slight delay in delivery times which you can read about on our website um, and that's all for now so thank you all very much for joining me hope you have fun making your photo books and look forward to seeing you next time thank you bye